Uh, evening, my name is Chris Davis. Um, I'm I'm a big fan of rugby, work, and the gym. Now, are you from Cardiff? I'm not. I'm from a place called Glen Corrug. Uh, it's 15 miles north of Talbot or Aberavon, um, deep, deep in the valleys. And when did you move to Cardiff? I moved to Cardiff in 2002 after I finished university. I moved in with my father. Then I moved out to Cardiff and then I moved back into Cardiff and then I've moved back out to Cardiff. And so how did you get involved in volunteering? Um, it was actually um, on Facebook. I put a Facebook post on Facebook and uh, somebody replied and said, it's all well and good saying that, but you don't actually do anything about it. So I decided to do something about it. And was that joining ACE or was there anything before that? Um, there was nothing before that. I joined ACE. I looked, there, was a, there used to be a website, like a job search website, but for volunteers. And I looked on that and I looked for whatever interested me. And so you found ACE. And why did ACE interest you? Um, I've always been a big fan of, a big advocate of uh, literacy. I think books and are a great way to, to get out to certain places. And what is your volunteering role at ACE? What exactly do you do? Um, I help the children with, with listening to their reading or helping them with words and um, I take them with maths sometimes and help them with their maths problems. And does, what does ACE do as a, an organisation, if you could briefly describe? Uh, from my understanding, ACE is a, uh, an after school or a, a school club that helps kids of all ages to with literacy and maths and problems they may have with those. And did you observe volunteering while growing up? Uh, my mother used to um, volunteer in the local school to help uh, the children with difficulties to help them with their reading. Do you think that influenced maybe the... Uh, probably did. Yeah. Um, while volunteering, have you met anyone that has greatly impacted your life? I, not individually. I think they all have an impact at the end of the day. You, you, you don't generally tend to help one child, you help, help a lot, so it would be wrong just to take up an individual and, and say this person, that person. And so you go every Saturday to ACE? Um, I go about three Saturdays a month because of the I have to get up early and catch the train down and some Saturdays I just need the, uh, after a working week I just need the, the break. And so when you arrive at ACE, can you give me like a description of what you do? Like well, when I get there, I then help set up the, the room um, about quarter to ten. Then I'll go down and start taking the register of all the kids who come in. Um, I'll do that until about quarter past ten when it very rarely anybody shows up after that. After that, I'll go back upstairs and go in and do what's needed. Um, if one of the women's not there, I generally will take a maths lesson, which isn't brilliant as maths isn't my strong point, but you know, I'll, I'll do anything to help out. And how many other volunteers are present on a Saturday? Um, roughly, I'd say between seven and ten off the top of my head, mm -hmm. but that obviously varies in life and gets in the way. A lot of them are now are, um, students with the college, For six formers. Okay. And what kind of children come in to ACE? Uh, the ones I deal with are between, I want to say six and nine, but I'm not, some would be seven or eight. Um, they're mostly Asian background, so English may not be their first language, so they may struggle with that. Some kids may be just a bit more, not slow, but hyper and maybe don't sit through class properly, can't concentrate as much so they may lose out a bit with with reading and writing and maths in school because they don't generally have the concentration levels that that they need. And so is it run like a homework club or do you create your own activities to work with them and develop skills or? Um, basically well they'll all read a book to start off with so they'll help with their, their reading 
Um, when that's done, we then do general um, comprehension tasks or um, search a dictionary to find a word and find the meaning of that word and form a sentence. Um, they've been focusing a lot on the different sounds of CH, TH and, and that and then that'll be split and then you do roughly about 45 minutes of maths, uh, your times tables, divisions. There's a small uh, quiz at the beginning to see how quickly you can do add-ins add and then you play a game at the end whether it's snakes and ladders or, or we've started doing word bingo at the moment which the kids seem to love. But Do you have any kind of standout memories of working with the kids? Um, not really. It's, again, you, you just, you don't focus on that. You just want to help the kids. I don't focus on remembering what I'm helping them with. As long as, as long as at the end of the year, you've, it seems like they've got better than they were when they came in at the beginning of the year, then that's all that really counts. Does volunteering impact any other areas of your life? Um, it doesn't, no. It's just uh, something I, I do. It's, I work my life around it. Have you influenced anyone else to volunteer or inspired them to join you? I've tried to get people to do it, but I don't think they want to get up on a Saturday morning at the end of the day. <laughs> and are there any frustrations or disappointments that you have while you're doing volunteer work? Anything that you wish you could change? No, not really. Sometimes the, you feel like the kids aren't paying too much attention. You wish you could help them understand more. But at the end of the day, they're six and nine. There's only you can't sit them down like and set out their future for them and, and, and tell them if it doesn't happen this way, then because they won't listen. Um, so that can be a bit frustrating, but you just got to roll with it and just keep on. Do you think that volunteering helps you get to know your community better? No, because I live in Caerphilly and I volunteer in Cardiff, mm -hmm. so my local community probably not, but I spend a lot of my time in Cardiff, so I get to know different parts of Cardiff. and. The, Obviously, I know different sections now of, of Cardiff that I wouldn't have experienced if I was just in, living in Cardiff or out drinking with my friends in Cardiff. But do you think that your volunteering impacts the community that you work within? I think volunteering always has an impact in the community, regardless of, at the, at the end of the day, these kids are going to benefit from, the vo from volunteers later in life. They look back on it and go, actually, that volunteering or that volunteer helped me at a certain time and it'll take it on life. It may not benefit the community straight away, but it's always going to have a long-term effect rather than a short-term effect. And how do you feel as a volunteer knowing that maybe the work that you put in now isn't going to pay off until much later and maybe you won't get recognized? Does that ever bother you about that? Or? It's not about recognition. It's about helping people. Um, do you have any advice or words of inspiration that might encourage other people to volunteer? I think it's it's up to the individual whether they feel they can do it, whether they feel they've got the time to do it, whether they feel they've got the need to do it, whether they want to do it. If if you're not gonna if you're gonna half ass volunteer and there's no point doing it, so you either do it or you don't. The, if you're inspired to do it, then you're inspired to do it. It shouldn't take somebody else to inspire you to do it nine times out of ten, despite the fact it took somebody to basically call me out on it. It was something I was looking into before, but always put off. But if, if you're going to volunteer, just volunteer. Don't give, give your time. Don't half-ass it. Do you think there are any particular barriers that might prevent people from volunteering? That well, you know, there's the standard life stuff, the time of the, the time it you, you may need to take to volunteer. Well, that will impact your life when you've got other areas. I'm I'm lucky. I've got no kids and I'm single, so I don't have to worry about families. Because, whereas some people may have to worry about their family and the time the volunteering will take away from that. That's not to say that you can't do that. I mean, it, it, it 
just happens. You've got to try and work your life. You've got to try and work volunteering around your life. And then once you've done that, everything will just click into place. So there hasn't been other groups that you're involved with, just ACE? Just ACE. Mm -hmm. Um, Well, technically, this. Oh, this is volunteering. (laughs) Uh, Let's see. a lot of things already. If you had to define volunteering, like an Oxford English Dictionary definition, how would you define it? Uh, giving your time to help other people. And is that how you would also say that that's what volunteering is to you? Are they yeah, the same I, definition? I give my time to, to help people with their lives. Again, short term, long term. You can, I just give my time. And do you think that volunteering in general, does it contribute to society? Of course it contributes to society. Again, it may be it may not be short term, it may be long term, but there'll be ripple effects. Every time you help somebody, that contributes to society. And could you finish the sentence for me? Volunteering is dot dot dot. <sighs> volunteering is fun. Frustrated, but fun. Uh, as a volunteer ace, do you like hang out with the other volunteers? Is there a kind of social culture around it with the other volunteers? Or they do often have social meetings, um, and I generally go to those um, outside of that. The, because everybody comes from different parts of, of life and different parts of the Cardiff or Caffili or Bari, there's not really a kind of culture after. And the, and the Saturday morning, everybody then has to go off and do what they may need to do. So we socialise when there are social events, but beyond that, there's not much socialising, to be honest. What kind of social events? Going to a pub for a couple of drinks. Only one kind of social event in Wales, go to the <laughs> pub for a couple of drinks. Um, does ACE do anything else? I know you're involved with the children, but don't they do have other branches? I believe so, but I've never not part of looked I've never looked into that because I've just You've got your role. I've got my I know what I'm doing there. Mm-hmm. If they asked me to do something else if if I got the time to do it, I'd look into it. But I I know what I'm doing and I kind of plow on with that. And do you have, I sort of already asked, but do you have a favourite memory of volunteering? Again, no, I, I, I'm, it's just getting up when you go in and you volunteer and, and you're done and you just, memories of volunteering are more the emotional memories of enjoying yourself rather than actual memories. Do you feel like you get something back for what you put in? Yeah, I feel like I enjoying myself I feel like I'm doing something I mean nobody ever tells you volunteering is not selfless as a liar um, but I enjoy it and if I enjoy it I'll carry on doing it is there anything we didn't talk about that you'd like to add I don't think so I know there's a lot of questions all right well thanks for your time then that's okay